Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a custom resolution on Windows 10 with AMD Radeon software. Um, as you can probably see, I've changed the name on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm because I'm going to be doing like new videos, new type of videos like tutorials and just how to do stuff. Um, so yeah, now that's out of the way, let's get right into the video. What you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop, as you can see I'm on my desktop, and this should come up. If you haven't downloaded the AMD reading software, um, make sure you do that. Um, a lot of people have the NVIDIA control panel instead, so I'm not sure how to do that because I don't have it, but I'm sure there'll be lots of videos how to get custom resolution on that. But um, as you can see, uh, you, I've just right clicked and AMD Radiant software should come up if you've downloaded it. Now, as you can see, it's come up and this is where you should start. But if you didn't, um, I'm not sure what to do because I mean, you might have not, because I've been using this quite a long time. So I've just put it to the start, just to show you guys how to do stuff. But make sure you're on this page. You want to go to Manage Devices. And this should come up. Uh, then you want to go to Display. And this should come up. Then this is where it gets serious. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to Custom Resolutions. Press that just to make sure you have some, but you don't, you shouldn't have some yet. I've just made some just for other stuff. But if you do want to create a resolution, you want to press create new and this should come up. Then if you are making a resolution, I'm just going to put a random resolution. In. Actually, no, there's no point, but you want to make your resolution here and timing display. So resolution PX and timing display. That's where you want to change the numbers to your resolution that you want. So for example, if I put maybe 1920 by 1440 for some reason, um, I would put 1920 here and 1440 here. As you can already see, it's there. And I would also put it in the timing display there and there. Um, so yeah, if you have any like questions about that, put in the comments. Uh, so then you want to press create and your screen should go black for a minute. I mean, if it doesn't, that's totally fine. But as you can see, I had three before, now I've made a new one. So that is just how you make it. Um, you're pretty much done then. Let me just shut that. Then you want to go into your settings, go into your system and you go on display resolution and the resolution that you've just picked out on the radian software um should come up on here and if it doesn't come up on here you've probably done something wrong um so yeah do not go for the resolution that i've done because that is like just the basic resolution for windows 10. um yeah, that is literally all you need to know if you want to create a new resolution. If you play Fortnite, because you know there's a new season came out a few days ago, um, you can put a custom resolution here. If it's in here, you'll be able to do it on Fortnite. Just something I use. Um, but when you go on Fortnite and you go to the resolutions, it should pop up. If your monitor can, monitor can take the resolution, you will be able to use it. Um, but yeah, just an example of when you sh like you could use it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it's helped you if you do want to find out how to make a custom resolution. Anyway, um, I'll see you in the next video, and see ya.